Zayn's throw. Cut. Petty again. Now it's a chip shot. Ten seconds left for the lead. Kick is up. All right, Aztecs. Now, here's the next play that we got. And this one's towards the end of the game. You can see there's 119 left in the fourth. We're down by one point. No room for any mistakes. This is our, this is our last drive. we got to get it done. And so execution, precise execution, is at a paramount. And so some nice film here by the Aztecs. Nice results anyways. Still, you're going to see some nice concepts and you're also going to see some stuff that the coach is going to look at this as they're studying this, some wrinkles that they're still going to make sure that they iron out for this bye week leading into the next game against Nevada. You know, what we got to make sure we do right. And it's got to be clean where everybody's on the same page. First things first, we got ourselves a first and 10 here. Ball at our own 35. And what Maiden is seeing is he's seeing five in the box. And this protection is going to be a six-man protection, five linemen with the running back here. And this running back is going to be looking at the box and seeing if there's any extra pressure coming in. All right. Now, Maiden, don't know what the time allotted to him, if he was going to be the one in charge of protections, probably now it's probably the center. And the center probably made the protection calls. And the running back had to be in an earshot to hear what those protection calls were. And most likely what the center did is he gave the running back a dual read. In other words, if we get any pressure from what this is really the Mike backer, this is the wheel, this is the Mike, and here's the Sam Nickel here. And we got our strong safety, we got our free safety with the two corners here. So literally, center's putting those five in charge of literally these five, and he's asking the running back, you just look out for any extra guys coming our way. So running back does a nice job there. And what we're going to get is what we're going to get ourselves a stop route, a 12 yard stop route by our two outside guys. And then what we're gonna have is we're gonna have an over route by our number three receiver coupled with a dig route underneath, underneath the wake of this over route. What the quarterback is reading and what he sees on pre-snap is that once he sees this safety, the strong safety rolling up, he knows that this safety here, the free safety is gonna stay in the middle, all right? And so his eyes are gonna know that, okay, this guy for sure is man-to-man. -man. There's definitely not gonna be a zone coverage on that one. He's gonna follow him because here comes the pressure. And so we're gonna get this guy to go with the DB and that leaves a lot of real estate here. Now, quarterback's gotta get it to him quick and we need a win right here immediately by the over route. So you're gonna see the receivers attack, get to that outside, get those, Get that outside release going. And why that is important? Because it gets the defensive back's eyes off of what's going on. In man-to-man, -man, if I get an outside release, his eyes are here and he has no idea what's going on behind him. And that's important. Now we ask our number three receiver. That being said, you got to win. You got to get over here and you got to win this route. Staircases him. We'll, we'll look at his route in a minute. He wins his defensive player falls down and we get ourselves a nice play. We're going to go back at that again and just look at now some of the things where the result was great. It's a nice play. It's a good starter for an important drive. Really important starter for the drive. But now here are the coaching points. When you know that you're the guy that you're trusting your teammate here as a number three receiver, you're trusting the X here to get a clear out for you. Okay. Now, if he wins this, the quarterback wants to go ahead and take a shot. But first things first, he needs to win it. Get that guy's shoulders turned around so that he cannot see and then come back and make a pick. This F, I mean the Y position, that's considered the Y position. Here's the F position. He cannot be delayed with his route. He's got to make sure that he's as efficient as he can. And he has to have a sense of urgency to get this guy to backpedal so that he can get behind this linebacker. This linebacker drops somewhat then he really has to cross his face big time. If he gets behind him, then he's in great position, but he's got to help out the quarterback and get into this area, especially since they're bringing a six guy. They're bringing pressure. So here they come with pressure. Running back does a nice job where he's going to help out and pick up that guy. The linemen were kind of on different pages. You don't want to see a tackle on the running back going after the same guy, but that's something that they'll clean up during this bye week. 
great leverage here, great leverage by the Y position here, getting inside of him. And he's now going to try to get vertical. We call that staircasing him. He wants to staircase him up and then he really wants to snap hard here. I would prefer that he send, shows a little bit more urgency with his route as far as more explosion. But he's such a long stride of receiver. Sometimes that makes up for it. And he's got a great catching radius, radius. And he makes a big play, takes a big hit. And you can tell how strong he is because he takes a big hit from the safety. And it doesn't even knock him down. He just stays up and just kind of gives the guy a look like, you know what, is that all you got? Great starter for the drive. Great starter for the drive. This next play is the play of the game. All right, here's the play of the game, Aztecs. We got ourselves a two-by-two two formation. It's a six-man protection. They want to make sure they have time. They want to give the quarterback time. Quarterback has a two-safety high look, so it's two deep, man under. Okay, we got man-to-man -man here. He's spying here to see what the running back is doing, you know, making sure that he's going to stay into pass protect and, of course, keep an eye out for the quarterback. We got one timeout left, so we can throw it anywhere on the field here. With 17 seconds left, already in deep field goal range, but we really want to get a lot closer here. And what we're going to have is you're going to have yourself a clear outside here with the safety to the boundary. Again, this is the hash right here. And then you got all this field where we're having a clear out by the outside guy and then an out route, a square out, if you will, by the number two receiver. Maiden likes this read, and that is he likes the fact that the safety is backpedaling and he's going to take a shot to the short side of the field. It's the shorter throw. And he's going to really put this ball on a rope. And it looks kind of crazy because his man is getting jammed up pretty good. He's not even off the line of scrimmage. The DB does a nice job. Penny, the wide receiver for the Aztecs, does a better job of defeating that jam where it looks like he's defeated. And he really keeps fighting hard. And he does something ma magnificent that you rarely see after you get jammed this hard. He really gets not only on top of him, but then he gets back to the inside of him really well to try to find himself, put himself in a position where he can be like a basketball player and keep this guy where he can be a, posting him up, but get in position where he can find himself in the hole. And this quarterback does a nice job of just throwing it in anticipation throw in the hole. And then Penny's catching rate is here. Phenomenal. Dearly gets up in the air, becomes a playmaker where that safety has no chance, big bodies that ball and uses his length to capture it and puts us at the nine yard line, eight yard line, seven yard line with one timeout left. You couldn't even ask for a perfect play. And this is what I loved what I saw on this little kind of clip. Here's a quarterback that's been playing the position now for four days and he's already showing the urgency, get to the line of scrimmage so that we can either spike the ball or be in a position where we can call a timeout. So he's ordering his troops Hey, let's not celebrate here. Let's get to the next position. And then you see his eyes immediately look to the coach and staff. Coach, what do you want to do? And so he really had a full grasp of not only the situation on the read, but after a great play, after a great throw, he's got the presence of mind to be the leader on the football field, but then also look to the sideline and get the direction necessary in a really nice, calm demeanor and puts us in a position that leads to the game-winning field goal. Great play by Penny. Great play by the quarterback. Timing was unbelievable. And you're going to see coaches really celebrate that timing aspect, but then you're going to really start seeing them go to the receivers, go to the linemen, really trying to make those routes much more efficient. And so with the passing game, a lot of aspects got to come with it. It's going to take some time. But boy, for four days of getting prepared, uh, you know, and adding some new concepts or at least adding some fine tuning things. You got to give San Diego State on those particular plays. We you know you got to give them some A pluses there. They did a great job and it was, it was good to see for sure. So here it is. Big moment for this guy. Big moment. Field goal kicking is as important as it gets. If you were watching football this past Sunday and you're a Charger fan, you know how important a field goal kick is. And this one, is as big as it gets and it's important for us and 26 yarders are no gimme and you know there we are Aztec fans and the fan you know they're ready to celebrate this game and that marching band they're ready to play that fight song and they're just itching to get this thing going and it's always good it's always a lot of fun when the rainbows come to town and we send them on that long flight home 
with an Aztec W and all. Great job, great kick, great finish by the Aztecs. Really, they, they needed this. Aztec Nation needed this. This is important. It makes the kids feel good. And hats off to Maiden. It's not easy playing the quarterback position at the FBS level. It's not. It's even harder when you're coming in with only four days prep. It's not easy for Coach Horton, Coach Lindley to come in and do what they had to do. You really got to win the guys over right away. And they really dispersed the ball around really well. If I understood it. Mattel, you were telling me he had more than 300 yards passing on 24 completions, a 14-yard completion per completion deal. That that's that's great stuff, and you can build on that. And they can't take any any game for the rest of the season. You can't take them for granted. I don't care if it's a team that hasn't won a game or if it's a team that's undefeated. You do your job, and you play your position with the sense of urgency, knowing that every position is vital, from the steps that you take to how you beat a guy or how you end up bracketing a guy. Everything is so detailed. And that's what I'm expecting to see from Coach Horan, Coach Lindley, as they bring the little fine-tuned details. And I'm really looking forward to watching our boys really iron out every wrinkle, a new wrinkle out every week. And hopefully we have more scenes just like this, celebrating Aztecs on the field, taking one game at a time and stacking those W's every Saturday. Let's hope we see it. This season's got a ways to go. And I just hope that we can see it on a good note as we see our boys build it up, you know, better and better and better. Great job, Aztecs. Made us all proud.